In countries around the world, there is something called telemedicine. And in this, patients who need medical help after hours or wish to speak to a healthcare professional by phone or video can now do so. In Belize, there is a specially built mobile application that provides this service and is called OneMed Virtual Clinic. OneMed is a company that's doing a platform in Belize for use by physicians to carry out telemedicine or virtual medical consults. This step of telemedicine allows physicians like Dr. Luis Ramirez and other healthcare professionals to evaluate, diagnose and treat patients at a distance using technology. Dr. Ramirez, who is one of the physicians using the platform, says that this can be done in both the private and public sectors. As a physician working in the private sector, on your off days, you can schedule yourself to be available to do consults and you will be recompensed for that. And also as a full-time job with the, with the platform like myself, and um, we do telemedicine consults and we do physical assessments um, virtually, right? And then anything outside of that, the patient will then be informed that he or she needs to see a physician physically. The OneMed mobile app provides key benefits to patients and these include convenience, no time in waiting room, travel cost reductions, and quick prescription and refills. And that's one of the main things that is the objective of this platform, accessibility for the patient. Now, as we know, when you use this platform, all, you, all the patient really needs is a cell phone with Wi-Fi capabilities or a laptop. Once they have a decent Wi-Fi signal, which in most areas of the country there is, then the patient can utilize the app on their phone or go to the website on their laptop, sign on, register themselves, make their patient profile with all their information, um, book an appointment, and then they will be seen as soon as they decide they will have they will be shown a schedule of all the physicians available at that specific time and then they can choose to be seen immediately or at a later time during that day. Once you book your appointment, if there is a physician that's available at that very moment, you can book your appointment and be seen immediately. And it all, it's all up to the patient. However, the patient wants to be seen at whatever time. A lot of patients tend to be, want to be seen after working hours, so usually they book their their appointment for 4.30 when they're already finishing up with the work day or 4 o'clock. But as soon as you book your appointment, if there's a physician available with that time slot, you can be seen immediately. It would be difficult for me to say that it's a 24-7 service right now, but that is the eventual goal of the platform, to be a 24-7 totally accessible um, telemedicine um, platform that patients can access whatever time of day or night. From any part of Belize? From any part of Belize, as long as you have a decent or a solid Wi-Fi connection. And that means that as long as a patient has a mobile device and stable Wi-Fi connection, the patient won't need to hop on a bus or taxi or drive to a clinic for consultation, reducing costs and time. It is only on the instructions of the doctor that the patient will be advised to come in. If needs be, the patient will be informed that he or she needs to be seen physically by a physician for whatever um, whatever diagnosis the, the physician may have uh, happened upon during the virtual consult. And then that physician will then have to go to, a, to the nearest clinic or hospital of their choosing. One of the biggest limitations when it comes to virtual medicine or telemedicine, and it, as it's more commonly known, is that obviously the physical aspect of the medical examination is out. So you cannot touch your patient, you cannot auscultate the patient. And these are things that are important in physical assessments. And in any medical school, any, every student is taught that you have to physically touch the patient to complete your diagnosis. However, on the flip side to that, we were also taught uh, in my medical school that when you see a patient and you do a thorough medical interview, that will grant you 85 to 90 percent of the diagnosis immediately. The need for telemedicine in Belize became even more glaring during the COVID-19 pandemic. Speaking professionally, it is needed because we do see a lot of instances where patients who live in remote areas of the country tend to delay going to see a physician because of financial reasons, because they work and they don't really have time, because 
because of laziness sometimes too because it's it's honestly it's it's a bit trying after a day of hard work to get on a bus and go down all the way to the city from bomba village for example and it, it's so, something that's very tiring for patients and and that delays diagnosis it delays treatment and in some cases that can be life-threatening so I, I think it's needed and that thought is shared by dr bernabe carrillo he is currently furthering his studies in Taiwan and says that it's about time that telemedicine is offered in Belize. It's very convenient for patients. I think it saves them a lot of time. It saves them a lot of money, you know. And for example, another thing would be like right now that I'm here, I, I still have uh, patients who I follow up with. And I can talk to them and they can ask all the questions. And it's very... Uh, easy to to access the service and 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 the this the, the particular thing about this program is it's that it's specifically done for 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 medical purposes so we have all the 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 lab exams for example the imaging exams everything incorporated into the application itself so um well it's convenient for, for patients, uh, for example, that, that are disabled, of course. Uh, they, it would save them, like I said, a trip. According to Dr. Ramirez, talks with large employers to use the platforms for employees' yearly medical assessments are currently underway. Payments can be made using debit, credit card, and digital wallets. The app, which is free of cost, is easy to use. The app is downloadable on Apple and the Google Store. And basically, you just sign up for the app. You input your username, your password, and then you then enter all your stats, your height, your weight, your sex. If you have any underlying NCD like we spoke about. Um, and all these things will be registered to your patient profile. As soon as you set an appointment with any physician, the physician will have access to your patient profile. It's extremely user friendly. Um, it's just inputting um, data from the patient's uh, side and for the physician is extremely user friendly as well. Data on the app is secured. The one med app is not for emergencies or any 911 situation. Reporting for Love News, Hippolyta Novello.